I'm in favor of flying things. Obviously, I do rockets, so I like things that fly. This is not some inherent bias against flying things, but there is a challenge with flying cars in that they they'll be quite noisy. The the wind force generated will be very high. Uh, they, there's, um, let's just say that if something's flying over your head, if there are a whole bunch of flying cars going all over the place, um, that is not an, exi- an, an anxiety-reducing uh, <laughs> situation. Um, you don't think to yourself, "Well, I feel better about today." Um, <laughs> you're thinking like, "Did they service their hubcap, or is it going <laughs> to?" Come off and guillotine me as they're flying <laughs> past. Um, and so, so, you're, so you've got this vision then: future cities with these these rich 3D networks of, of tunnels underneath. Is there a tie-in here with with Hyperloop? Could you apply these tunnels to use for this Hyperloop idea you had you released a few years ago? Yeah. So, um, you know, we've been sort of puttering around with the Hyperloop stuff for um, for a while. We, we built. A Hyperloop test track adjacent to SpaceX, just for a student competition, uh, to encourage innovative ideas in transport. 